The superior orbital fissure is a foramen in the skull, although strictly it is more of a cleft, lying between the lesser and greater wings of the sphenoid bone. Structures passing through A number of important anatomical structures pass through the fissure, and these can be damaged in orbital trauma, particularly blowout fractures through the floor of the orbit into the maxillary sinus. These structures are superior and inferior divisions of ocular motor nerve, trochlear nerve, lacrimal, frontal and nasociliary branches of ophthalmic. Abdesin's nerve, superior and inferior divisions of ophthalmic vein. Inferior division also passes through the inferior orbital fissure, sympathetic fibers from cavernous plexus, these include non-visual sensory messages, such as pain, or motor nerves. They also serve as vascular connections. The nerves passing through the fissure can be remembered with a mnemonic, live frankly to see absolutely no insult for lacrimal, frontal, trochlear, superior division of ocular motor, abdicins, nasociliary and inferior division of ocular motor nerve. It is divided into three parts from lateral to medial, lateral par transmits, superior ophthalmic vein, lacrimal nerve, frontal nerve, trochlear nerve, recurrent meningeal branch of lacrimal artery, middle par transmits, superior and inferior divisions of the ocular motor nerve, nasociliary nerve and abducent nerve, medial par transmits, inferior ophthalmic veins and sympathetic nerves arising from the plexus that accompanies the internal carotid artery. Pathology the abdicin's nerve is most likely to show signs of damage first, with the most common complaints retroorbital pain and the involvement of cranial nerves III, IV, V1, and VI without other neurological signs or symptoms. This presentation indicates either compression of structures in the superior orbital fissure or the cavernous sinus. Equals superior orbital fissure syndrome equals superior orbital fissure syndrome also known as Rock and Duvig Nude syndrome, is a neurological disorder that results if the superior orbital fissure is fractured. Involvement of the cranial nerves that pass through the superior orbital fissure may lead to diplopia, paralysis of extracular motions, big sogthalmos, and ptosis. Blindness or loss of vision indicates involvement of the orbital apex, which is more serious, requiring urgent surgical intervention. Typically, if blindness is present with superior orbital syndrome, it is called orbital apex syndrome. Additional images. See also, foramina of skull, inferior orbital fissure. References. External links, anatomy figure, 2202-04 at Human Anatomy Online, SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Lesson 3 at the Anatomy Lesson by Wesley Norman, Cranium of the Anatomy Lesson by Wesley Norman, Anatomy Diagram, 34256.000-1 at Roche Lexicon, Illustrated Navigator, Elsevier, Anatomy Diagram, 34257.000-2 at Roche Lexicon, Illustrated Navigator, Elsevier.